Thinkorswim indicators, how to set these up right now. That's exactly what we're going over in this video. What is up, everybody? It's Stas here, and in this video, we're diving into Thinkorswim, talking about indicators and how to set these up as a beginner in 2020. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'm sure many of you already know at this point, Thinkorswim is a charting software by TD Ameritrade. You know that since you've clicked onto this video. And in indicators, we use these these as traders, as investors, to see whether or not it's a good time to buy into a stock, maybe it's a good time to sell a stock, and we really use these to aid our decision making in the stock market. And I want to share with you all again how to set these up, moving averages, you know, volume, MACD, the RSI, all of these different things, these indicators, that's what we're going over in this video. So Apple, AAPL, this stock that you see right here here. Um, you can see all of the indicators already on the screen. You have the moving averages, EMA, SMAs, right? You have the MACD down here and again the volume and the RSI. So this is defeating the purpose of the video if I already have them on here. So let me quickly remove these studies so we can add them together so you can see for yourselves how to add these studies on Thinkorswim right now. So the first thing you want to do is go up here and click studies. The next thing you want to do is scroll down and hit edit studies. Then this beautiful pop-up page comes up. And these studies right here, um, you can pretty much replace that word studies for indicators, right? All of these are pretty much um, indicators that you can use on Thinkorswim, again, to assist your trading. Me personally, guys, I stick to the EMA, the exponential moving average. You have SMAs, the simple moving averages, RSI, which is the relative strength index, volume, as well as the MACD, which is the moving average convergence, divergence, right? So how do I add these onto my platform? So you have three different layers here. You have the price, which any really indicators you put here, they're going to show up um, on the chart, like the moving averages. You have the volume, um, which is obviously right down here, and you can actually have other indicators within the volume, so it's kind of shown in the same little panel there. Then lower is what you'll have under the volume. So for price, Price, we want to do exponential moving average. Um, that's one, one indicator that I personally like, and that's going to be this one. So I simply just click it, and then it goes over to price. Another one I want is the simple moving average, actually two simple moving averages, and those are both obviously going to go on price because those are price indicators. Now, for volume, I want to put the MAC D, which again we talked about is the moving average convergence divergence. We put that on the volume. We can just drag it up there. And again, you can really customize this based on whatever you want, right? Then lower, we're going to do relative strength index, or it's probably listed as RSI here. And uh, perfect. We'll do that there. Uh, we could, I guess we could just keep that like that. Uh, no need to delete that. But now we want to go in and edit the intervals, at least on these uh, uh, moving averages, to our liking. Again, you can do whatever you guys want in terms of your liking, but for me, this is what I want to do, and I'll show you. So EMA, we're going to keep it like that, um, but the moving averages, I want to shift, right? I want one moving average to be a 180 simple moving average, which is pretty much bringing in the previous 180 days price data and kind of smoothing it over a line, right? So that's going to be 180, and I want the color of this to be, for me personally, um, a yellowish gold. So we'll click OK. Now I want to go to the next moving average, this SMA, which is going to be a 50-day SMA, which is going to take data from the previous 50 days in terms of price and smooth it over a line. So we're going to do 50, and that color is going to be green because, again, that's what I personally want it to be. So we click OK, and now we pretty much have um, the basic indicators that I want set up. Now all we have to do is click 
um, apply and you can see it go behind us here then ultimately click OK and boom you have the moving averages guys you have the RSI you have volume you have MACD you have pretty much everything um, here set up and again if you want to put other ones you can do that do your research on those and add them for yourself so me personally this is my setup on thinkorswim and how to really set up indicators for yourself right now so I actually want to show you guys one or two more tips that a lot of people actually ask me about when it comes to uh, the charting software here think or swim which kind of goes hand in hand with the indicators here so that is how to add space after um, you know your chart here you guys can see if this wasn't here you know this space it would kind of be difficult to draw out you know trend lines and maybe kind of see where the chart could potentially continue to so how to add that space you simply go to this button here which is the chart settings button you go to time axis and take a look at this expansion area bars to the right so I personally have 130 bars to the right and let me show you guys what it would look like if we didn't have that and again reiterate my point a bit on why it would be more difficult um, if we didn't have it so click apply and you can see that is what it comes with uh, that's how it comes once you open up thinkorswim there's no area to the right which it's it's kind of uh it looks kind of awkward right you kind of want to have space on the right to do your analysis so going back to that um time axis tab we want to do a hundred 130 whatever really honestly whatever uh, works for you me personally again you saw 130 so that's a tip that a lot of people really ask me about and that's how you do it it's fairly simple actually so another thing I want to share with you all is how to add the volume um, really overlapped on top of your chart and it's very simple same as before with the time axis you hit chart settings and you have the general tab here and all you have to do is click overlap volume click OK and now you have your volume on your chart and, and for me personally guys um, it's a bit confusing uh, so I don't really do that but you could do this if you want especially if you took the MACD out of um, the studies it would look a bit cleaner at that point maybe add the MACD down here and again Again, it's all up to you with how you end up playing with it but that's an option if you do want the volume actually on the screen um, I personally rather have it down below like before but again it's up to you so one more thing before I do end off this video I have to show you guys how to save your indicators as a preset this is super important because on thinkorswim you can actually pull up multiple charts on your screen at once and for example let's say we pull up one here next to Apple and then we put let's say Ford as the ticker that we want to look at you notice how this is not showing the indicators that we added on the left here so what we want to do is load a preset that we've already made right which is the one on the left well first of all we want to save the one on the left which I should probably do right now and show you guys how to do that we simply just go here and click save study very simple but since I already have it saved and we go back here click on forward real quickly uh, really quickly again since I already have it saved I can simply go here load study set set up one and then boom it loads it up for me um, very quick very easy and I can make multiple sets with different indicators if I decided to so that's pretty much it for this video this should give you guys a very easy tutorial basic overview of how to add indicators on thinkorswim right now and if you guys found value in it feel free to go down below hit that like button consider subscribing if you want to see further content for me join our strive smart discord group chat and our strive smart Facebook group both of those are linked down below as well as the Strive Smart merch. And if you guys want to see my M1 Finance portfolio, what stocks I'm currently invested in, check out the card up here. There's going to be a link. Click that link. It'll take you to that video and enjoy. Thanks for watching again. I'll catch you in the next video.